All right, after this video, you'll be able to make organic and dirty instruments in the most popular VST serum. Whether you make trap, hip hop, ADM, pretty much any genre, this is something I haven't seen on YouTube. We are going to make three different patches and I'll show you serum tips and tricks for achieving this type of sounds. My name is Max, I run fltips.com, let's dive in. First sound we are going to make is a trap key inspired by classic preset from Omnisphere, which sounds like this. One of people's favorite sounds, a great fundamental, of course, for different sounds, and we'll need a sine wave for that. And do not choose the analog sin, it's a sin wave. We are going to go to basic shapes and take this one. It's the most surgical sine wave you can go for. And we are going to already put it an octave higher because now we open oscillator B and now we copy the same waveform. We can choose it here. Sometimes you maybe made some changes to the waveform. That's why you can go here, copy it and paste it inside of here. Now we want to make it, of course, plucky because it's a plug synth kind of key. And you can hear the click. We definitely don't want it. Let's put the attack to at least 2.1 milliseconds. Perfect already. Very smooth. Now we are going to LFO and let's bring it down to the halfway through and make this kind of shape. Uh, whether you make it like this, like that, it doesn't really matter. We want to make it moving like a wave kind of thing. And now we are going to go to matrix and enable the LFO inside of here. We chosen LFO one and destination will be global master tune. Now you want to double click on the slider and hit one. And now if you keep the type as it is, now we'll have it going only up and to the initial amount. So in this mode, we just make it go up 50 cents. And if we put it in the middle, and change it to this mode, we make it go 25 cents higher and 25 cents lower. Let's leave it like this for now. And now we can just maybe enable some reverb in plate mode, delay in ping pong mode, and in the EQ, we might bring down some of the lower frequencies and bring up some of the higher frequencies like this. If you want to make it a little bit darker, you can always enable the filter here, maybe a really soft one, or take down the second oscillator, which is a little bit lower in volume. Now, this is a great fundamental. For example, you can make envelope second really, really short, like this, and assign it like that to master tune again. Make it really, really low in output here. It's like our mix knob. And of course, you might assign this exact same FO to noise. Change the pitch of it. Just gives this kind of effect that we actually hit the notes. Then, for example, we can make the first oscillator sync. Or FM from B. And most important part for keys, I guess, would be the velocity actually. So we would need to go to matrix, choose velo and global amplitude, take it all the way up and change the type to both ways. The harder you hit it, the louder it will be. So if you go to your MIDI, really makes sense, especially if you are making keys. Really basic sound works wonders. You can, of course, download every sound we make today in our free light version of Memoriam Volume 1 pack, which contains over 100 organic pieces like this, MIDI song starters, much more than that, of course. Let's get into the second sound. And here now we'll use some cool serum features. 
First is, if you have like a bottle blow, you can drag and drop it into your serum wave. Let's go with the first one, you can experiment with different ones. And now if you play it, change the position, it actually will play the sample. You can apply LFO to it like this. With any sound you want, all recorded, it works really nice with real cello instruments, for example, we've got those in the pack as well. Now this bottle blow actually comes by default in digital serum wave shapes. So let's use it actually. So you make kind of this shape that triggers the blow, but then we kind of change the shape so it's not that static. And now what we are going to do is layer it with another oscillator. Let's go with analog basic shapes again. Turn it into unison. Take it down a little bit. We can make the bottle a little bit louder. And now let's put it two octaves higher. And the bottle one octave higher. And now let's increase the attack to about 100 milliseconds and the release to make it a little bit more smooth. You can also experiment at this point with different modulations here. I like the FM from B. Now we can cut some lows using a filter here. Just making sure nothing goes through and let's apply some effects. With the hybrid dimension, let's go just a little bit. We can turn on the distortion also delay. Just as in ear candy, I would say. Compressor. Just so we don't blow up through our speakers. And now EQ, we can also cut some lows like this because we want this to be kind of higher instrument. And now with the filter, funny thing that can happen here, you can go to miscellaneous and choose, for example, reverb. I will go with normal low pass at that point. And what you have now is really nice flute kind of effect. But there's something we are missing still here. I think one of the most important in this kind of patch will be noise to actually introduce some kind of realistic effect. And that we can achieve using the S sound noise. Set it to direct out because we don't want to have any filters applied on it. And now what we can do is make another envelope for that, like that, a little bit plucky, a little bit attack, put it into the level. Nice, however, it's still very dull. Let's apply one of the most humanizing effect here. Let's go to LFO2, put it into BPM mode, make it a little bit slower, like 2.4 kilohertz, and go now to matrix and take it as a source. And now really important, we are going to take not master tune as previously, but oscillator fine tune. Why? Because now we are going to make this guy go, let's say 12 ish, something like this. And now we're going to duplicate that, put it into oscillator B fine tune and take it a little bit higher, let's say 16 or something. And now, That way you can have a little bit more control over how much the fine tune changes for each oscillator that can bring some interesting effects. That preset and the MIDI you can hear also come in the pack. You can download the free version of it. It is of course included. Now let's get into the third patch and I think that will be my favorite one. Now this is pretty not interesting saw wave. What you can do is actually take a little bit more analog version of the same saw wave, which of course will sound a little bit different. You go to analog and whatever is with saw, you can choose it, for example, M saw. 
sounds very similar, but it's a little bit more analog, I would say. Let's put it an octave lower. And now what we're going to do is apply LFO on the modulation, because now we'll choose, let's say, PWM. So we are trying to make it move a little bit. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. She gets a map. Ah. And now we are going to layer it with some spectral waveform. You can choose whichever you want, it doesn't really matter. Let's give it 10 voices, take it down in detune. And put it lower in volume. We just want to add a little bit more width to the sound. You can also already play with some modulation here. But we don't want any of the very highs. It just doesn't sound organic and dirty. That's why you apply filter on both of those and just take out the trebles. Now on the envelope first, let's increase some of attack. So it's more paddish, I would say. And now let's turn on the noise. And of course the analog ones are perfect for that again. I really like the, the chorus one. Let's put it to direct out already and keep it really low in volume. Now into the effects. Let's apply distortion, chorus, compressor, reverb and EQ. Let's put the chorus higher in the delay first and the rate take down, almost all the way down. We kind of want to just close it up. Now the tube distortion, we can get a lot of it. And dimension take down and hyper take up. That way we get even more width to the sound. And with the EQ, we can cut some of the lows and maybe boost some of the highs. Boring. Now to get this kind of vintage dirty effect, we will explore something that might introduce some weird comments down below. We're going to go to global and change the pitch tracking to, let's say, a bit lower than 440. Now, if you go back up, It still sounds dirty because we designed it like that. But if you actually take some of the pitch down or up, if your other instruments are perfectly in pitch, you might get into some troubles. But if you're, for example, just having this instrument over real recordings of instruments, it might actually give a lot of like dirty, feel to the track. I had a lot of tracks that I tried to remake, it just, I couldn't get the pitch right. And what happened is that they actually took all of their instruments a little bit lower. So one track I remade was actually in 432. I mean, it's beautiful. Some people will tell, oh, you cannot do it because it will screw up the playlists or whatever. <laughs> and now one of the most underrated knobs here in Serum is the Chaos. So if you go to Matrix and let's say we take Chaos 2 or Chaos 1 as our destination to master tune, put it into one and make it work both ways. And now you can put it higher a little bit. It will be a little bit messy. That's why we're going to take down the output. Or assign the aux source to, let's say, uh, micro one, so we can like put it 30% in wet.
this MIDI and the preset of course comes in the memorium pack, also in the light version, make sure to check it out. I hope I could prove you that Serum actually is very versatile plugin and you can make organic sounds and analog sounding sounds inside of it without need to apply even any external effects. We also got you full length courses ranging from synthesis and sound design from scratch, production, mixing, mastering, arrangements, making melodies, vocal recording, everything you would ever need to step up your music career and cut years from your learning curve. My name is Max, I hope you liked it, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to not miss out on the next video like this and I see you in the next video.